Sometimes you just want to jump into a big pile of leaves or sneak a needle into a haystack. Today, I built some scatter terrain that will help you hide in plain sight. For the base of the piles, I carefully cut out the top section of a water bottle. This gives plenty of space for a miniature to hide underneath. And I think I might keep this little piece off to the side. Might be able to use it for something. I tried multiple different ways to seal the hole at the top, but I settled on using hot glue. I grabbed some parchment paper and just lined the entire top with hot glue and let it dry. And you can see once it's dry, I've also run a ring down the bottom just to give it a bit more strength. It isn't entirely necessary, but I thought I might as well add it on. To give these piles a more natural, realistic sort of shape, instead of just being domes, I get some plaster and tear up a bunch of tissue paper. So this will basically work like a sculptor mold and I can make a pile that looks more like a pile of hay without the hay. You could easily use paper mache to do this as well. I was just using plaster because it dries a bit faster. For making some more, I also found this Sunday lid from a McDonald's Sunday, and this works really well as a much bigger pile. And then don't be afraid to stack it up and make it look like a natural sort of formation rather than that rounded shape. And I was doing this on parchment paper, so when it comes off, there was a little bit of a layer that had gone flat along the parchment paper. I just peel that off because it doesn't really look too great. And then give the entire thing a base coat in a black Mod Podge. I don't know if the Mod Podge is really necessary, but the black definitely is. Needs a good base coat underneath. I also sprayed the insides with some brown spray paint. Okay, so the first is the hay bales. I got this coconut fiber and cut it into very fine strands. And then I'm just going to glue it on and absolutely layer a bunch of this fiber on top. It ends up looking like half a coconut, but after we paint it, it looks really nice. I saw how to do hay like this from Dinky Dioramas here on YouTube. There'll be a link to that video in the description below. Now for the leaves, I get this hole punch that I got from Green Stuff World and I just punch out a bunch of leaves in yellow and red. When you're punching these out, I find it's pretty easy just to cup your hand around where they would fall out and punch a whole line in. And that's how I found the fastest way to punch the holes and then just cut off the excess and go around again. And after I've cut a bunch of leaves, I cover the mound in some PVA glue and sprinkle them on. The colors look quite stark and out of place at the moment, but we'll fix that up soon. I noticed I didn't get great coverage and there's a bunch of gaps, so I'm just going to give it another coat in those troubling spots.
Once the undercoat of PVA glue is nice and dry, just to stop them from flaking off and give it a bit more strength, I'm going to coat it in a watered down PVA glue. And then I give these coconuts a bit of a trim by getting rid of all of the excess along the bottom. It looks a lot neater and it won't all go flaking off. And then I cut any excess that is just sticking up in weird angles. I then mix a yellowy mustard color with white, yellow, and brown and kind of stipple that on to the coconut's fiber. And that will make it look a bit more like hay rather than an upturned coconut. Now for making the leaves pop a little bit more, I grab some of this hardened leather speed paint and mix it in with some water to water it down. But really any good brown wash is good here because you just want that rich brown pigment to stain all of the little leaves and make it look more natural. And I am super happy with how these leaves came out. I think they look really nice and really look like autumn leaves. It is a bit of a shame I spilt some of the coconut fiber on the leaves, but I think that adds to the rough and natural look of it. These things are great additions as scatter terrain, but they also have a little bit of a use as well, which I love. Unfortunately, some miniatures cannot stand up in it, but really, when are you standing up in a hay bale anyway? Thanks for watching, and I will see you next week with something different.